and the situation was the same as before, but the answer is different. Now we know what the outcome is going to be. We're going to get a quarter of each of four different genotypes. And the reason is that because we have many meioses, we can be confident that about half of the time a meiosis is going to produce two gametes with genotype A1, G1, and two gametes with genotype A2, G2. And the other half of the time, it's going to produce gametes 2A1G2 and 2A2G1. Now, I'm not going to bother demonstrating this. It's basically the demonstration that I did previously multiplied 100 million times. A different genotype, again, this is a man who is heterozygous at two different loci, um, but these loci are on the same chromosome, not different chromosomes, but they're so close that we don't need to worry about crossing over. What gametes is one meiosis going to produce this time? 